to my chest. Which means it's not fighting me. You know, I can, I'm not pulling myself up, I'm not using any, any back or any abs. I'm just, I'm just sitting here. And that's pretty nice. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe. Click the subscribe button right down there at the bottom corner. And don't forget to click the notification button also so you guys get notified every time we do something awesome. Check in the description box. We have information about our motorcycle giveaway. We have lots of killer deals on bike and also killer deals on gear. What's up guys? Sean here from SRKCycles.com. We have a 2000... What? 2006 Harley Davidson Heritage Softail. And I don't think that wheel belongs on here. I don't think either of these wheels belong on here. I think these are fat boy wheels. I'm pretty sure these are fat boy wheels. But I love them. They look awesome. We just got this bike in. We put brand new Harley Davidson tires on it. It needed new tires. So we threw some tires on it. And it is a beautiful bike. I love that blue. Check this thing out. It's got your normal sagging bags. They all start doing that after a while. If you want to see more about this bike, check out the walk around. But it's a beautiful bike. And let's take a first spin. But what I'm going to tell you guys today... Oh, this needs to be pushed on a little bit. Hold on. There we go. There we go. I'm going to explain to you guys today why all the young whippersnappers all those millennials are falling in love with the heritage first of all let's start the day the way we should john no james 316 for where jealousy and faction are there is confusion in every vile deed <sighs> jealousy jealousy is a bad thing Let's take this bike for a spin, guys. <clears throat> and remember, we just read a Bible verse. Don't be jealous of this bike. Don't be jealous. <clears throat> Alright, guys. So this is the Heritage Softail. And it's an awesome bike. <clears throat> I'm going to be I'm going to be frank with you guys. I'm going to be frank. I'm normally Sean, I'm going to be frank, this is an awesome bike. I'm 6'2", I feel very comfortable. This is the Softail, this is the Softail touring bike in the Harley Davidson family. So it's just, you know, it's the same, same frame, basic general concept as the Fat Boy and the other Softails. But, this one always has the windshield, and it's got the bags. Normally it's got spoked wheels. <clears throat> and this is a great bike that a lot of people love riding. They love taking big trips on them, they love cruising, they love doing anything, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not super huge, like an Ultra. It's also not super small, like a Sporty. Which is an all-around good size. Another cool thing about it is, I love these Harley Davidson windshields because you just two seconds, you pop them off, you push them off, take them out, and they they go on and off that simply. And the spike looks awesome without a windshield. You can also take the bags off. Very customizable, of course. It's a Harley Davidson. This bike has less than eight thousand miles on it. Crazy low miles. And this one is the eighty-eight cubic inch. Hold up. I'm pretty sure it's the 8806. Yeah, that's the 88 cubic inch. Great motor. I got the same engine on my Road King, and I've got 117,000 miles on it. That guy was walking past, like spraying like horrible chemicals, and the, I was I was very concerned that I might get like a face full of that while my mouth is open. All right, so let me let me fill you guys in why the young guys are falling in love with the heritage bikes. <clears throat> and this is why. They're awesome. Fact, fact. 
The Heritage is an awesome bike. It's a very classic look. <coughs> you see the Heritage, you're like, it's classic. It's timeless. It's not like, you know, you can get in, you can get all wrapped up with these new trends and, you know, first it was the choppers, then it was the baggers, now it's, then it was the big, the big nose, big wheel, front wheel baggers, and then it was the big front wheel bagger and huge bags, the giant stereos, you know, so the bike looks like this, you're sitting like this, the back end's low, but the front end's high, um, but then you, see, you check out a Heritage, and you're like, it's just cool looking. It's been like that. It can, I can rock that bike for 10 years and it's always going to be in style. Another cool thing about the Heritage is the Heritage is they hold their value very, very well. You could have bought this thing like brand new in 2006. And the, the, the total value it dropped compared to a lot of the other bikes, other manufacturers, even other Harleys, is very minimal compared to the other stuff out there. That's why sometimes you're looking at Heritage, you can guess, you can get other things, for you can get other Harleys for cheaper. You can buy some, and sometimes you can buy like an Ultra for cheaper. You know, the big bikes, you can't buy street glass for cheaper. But you look at some of these prices, you're like, wow, that... It's like it's like the heritage is its own its own thing. You can get fat boys for cheaper normally. Let's talk about how good the heritage is on a highway cruising bike. You can see me. I'm doing the speed limit. I'm doing 65. If I want to keep up with somebody, just twist out throttle. That person is speeding, and I can keep up with pretty much anybody. That windshield's nice. Although I think I might prefer a slightly taller one because I wear a helmet. If you didn't wear a helmet, uh, you would not feel any buffeting on your head depending on how tall you are. But when I, when I get down a little bit more, it feels pretty perfect. There's no wind hit touching my chest, which means it's not fighting me. You know, I can, I'm not pulling myself up, I'm not using any, any back or any abs. I'm just, I'm just sitting here and that's pretty nice. That's the thing that I forgot about when I'm always bashing windshields and saying how dumb windshields are. It's actually like long, long, long-term highway riding and how much it really beats you up, your body, and how it's, you're constantly fighting that wind. We sold a bike to a guy named Keith. He came from the UK. At first, he, he was like, he was like, I want an Ultra Classic. So we got him an Ultra Classic. And then after about a week of him riding it, he started, he had an issue with the bike. And we were like, oh no, this is, this is not good. So we actually picked him up. We drove like six hours. We drove six hours one way, six hours back, really late at night to pick him up. Picked him up, picked the bike up, bought the bike back from him. And then we had this, this new bike came in, this pretty looking 2008 anniversary. Softail, Softail Heritage Classic, and he loved that bike. Um, he's not still riding; I think he's done. He wrapped up his trip a couple months ago, but he loved that Heritage. And he was a smaller guy, so it fit him good. But it's not that it's not that a Heritage can't fit a bigger guy. I mean, I feel it's the same ergonomics if you're sitting in like an Ultra Classic. You know, my knees are bent the same way, my arms are put out the same way. It's just a little bit lighter. Come on. I love that blue. I like how Harley puts a lot of... Harley puts more effort into their paint colors than probably any other manufacturer. And they almost always... They're almost always metallic colors. And when I mean... When I talk about metallic colors, they've got, they've got little metal flakes inside the paint. So when you get out, when you get the bike out, it almost looks like a... The color looks even better when it's out in the sun. And, and when you put metal into it, it gives it depth.
It looks like you're looking into like a universe. I easily get up to highway speeds. I, I, I only needed half the on ramp to get highway speeds with this bike. So these things are great on the highway. They're great on every way. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little subscribe button to the bottom right hand corner of like the video, a little bit underneath the video. <laughs> and then click that notification button so that you get notified every time we come up with a new video. We do more test drives than any other YouTube channel out there. We pro we're probably in the, we have almost more videos than most YouTube channels. Uh, we make a lot of videos. And we're growing at a very, a very rapid rate. It's a lot of fun. We want you guys to join in on the fun. We also have another channel called Bikes and Beards. And we're currently working on a show that we're gonna be putting on Amazon. So that's exciting. And as always, check in the description box to see what kind of to see what kind of deals we got going on at our shop with motorcycles. You can see how cheap our motorcycles actually are. We ship bikes all over the country. We ship bikes all over the country. And if you guys are not, if you guys have not jumped in, and if you're not part of the the Harley Davidson Dyna giveaway, what are you waiting for? Get in on it. We are we're giving away a bike. We are giving away a bike. Just giving it away to some random subscriber. You need three things. Subscribe to Bikes and Beards. Subscribe to SRK Cycles. And subscribe to our mailing list. So jump on there. Become a subscriber of our mailing list. Uh, it's in the description box. It's real simple. Super simple. There's also a couple parts and clothing manufacturers that we work with in our description box that we found out that hey, these are great guys and this is where we buy our stuff from and they got they give us killer deals. So I want you guys to check that stuff out <clears throat> while I make my way home. It's finally getting nice outside. It's been kind of cold lately. It was cold and then I was still riding, but then it got warm and I was like, oh, this is amazing. Summer, summer's back. And then it got cold again. And then I was like, no, nah, I don't want to ride. I already got used to, I, I was, I got used to riding in the cold. I was fine. I could do it. But then I got, my mind got used to being like, okay, because the cold's done. I have endured it. I've endured the cold now. And then it came back and I was like, no! It's horrible. Guys, the front brake feels nice and tight. Back brake feels good. This bike shifts good. I was driving that V-Star and then I drug floorboards on that turn. And now I'm kind of like, ah, I don't want to drag floorboards anymore. Turn signals work. The shot the horn. It's hey, a cool sounding horn. It's a man's horn. Ugh, just trying to stretch out a little bit. Kick back. Look, my no hands. So I like this bike. It's a, it's a pretty clean bike. I think there might have been a little dent in the fender. You see it? Tiny little thing, but we You could probably you could pop that out pretty pretty inexpensively. <laughs> Alright guys, if that wraps it up, I am Sean from SRK Cycles don't forget to subscribe and remember it's not what you're riding but where are you going we will see you guys later pulling in the mcfarland drive
All right, guys. What's up, guys? Sean here from SRK Cycles. And thanks for watching the video. Click here to subscribe. Click here to see more content. And as always, click in this, check out the description box to see our latest inventory and our killer deals, to see how to win a free motorcycle, and also to see our latest uh, bikes and beards gear. We'll see you guys later. Remember, it's not what you're riding, but where you're going.